Hey, I'm Frank. And I'm Ferg. And we're best friends. friends. You see, the thing about um, having best friends is that it teaches you to bridge a lot of gaps in life and uh, with friendships. And uh, we're talking about the fat gap. <laughs> you know what we were doing. You know what you it's were the, doing. The, just you... the way you said Today, we're going to be talking about the weight gap because I'm a skinny guy and he's a fat guy. It's like the weight gap. It's the weight gap. The weight gap. I mean, you have the age gap, you have the economy gap. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't do that. So, uh, one of the things that I really like about having a best friend is um, having someone to carry, like, my heavy shit. Yeah. No. You know, uh, back when I uh, was in a band before, um, it was always nice when Ferg came to the show. It's just like, hey, Ferg, will you grab that for me? Yeah, I carried a lot of your heavy shit. Yeah. You never helped me carry anything. Okay. <laughs> I carry your drunk ass upstairs. I carry your bed downstairs. I help you move. When <laughs> do you help me do anything? When do I help you do anything? Uh, remember that time that you dropped your socks behind the washing machine? Yes. Oh, yes. You're skinny. Therefore, you could fit behind More it. accurately, you crammed me in the space I, I behind did. the washing machine. I did. Forget it. Get my... <laughs> it was unfortunate for everyone involved. It wasn't unfortunate. I got my sock back. Fuck you. Something else that I like about um, having you as my best friend is that you're, uh, you're low maintenance. I feel like that's a borderline insult. Oh. Are you calling me lazy because that makes that an insult? Yes. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm just right, a fat exactly. kid that just wants to sit around and play video games all day. Is that that's what you're what, fucking saying? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is that what you're fucking saying? That's what I'm saying. You're an asshole. Having a bigger guy, you know, you always got my back in those fights. You mean you try to start fights when I'm with you? I don't try to start you, fights. You, why when I'm is it that every time we go out, someone tries to kick your ass, and I'm the one that has to step in between? Uh, well, that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I uh, I make my bed and I, <laughs> and I land. You make your bed and you push me into it. <laughs> That's pretty gay, dude. <laughs> because you're gay. There are some good sides about having a skinny friend, you know. Um, like when we're out at restaurants and I want something else to eat, but I can't go up to the counter because oh, they, yeah. they, they judge me when I want more Definitely, food. So right. I, just, I send you up there and you get me that second plate of food and we're all happy. That's uh, that's thin privilege for you. <laughs> Having a skinny guy as a best friend is also, you know, useful for when you go out drinking. Because you, you can always look good when you out drink the skinny guy. Oh, yeah. Because you can't hold your liquor for shit. I mean, I can hold mine, but... Uh, let's, you see, that's more of you being like, I can drink as long as well, and then you end up on your fucking bed throwing up on yourself. That happened once. Yeah. That happened once. Skinny guys have bigger dicks. No. It is. No, that's not true at all. That, like, no. you got a couple inches you can't use because no. you got a buffer. No. That's a that fat way. guy with a dick. That's not how that works. Like, I, got, I got a longer dick. You do have a bit. Mine's wider. Right. It's your genetics. Because you had a bunch of black ancestors. You make fat jokes. And as a oh, fat guy, I don't, fat. I don't appreciate you I don't making make fat, that you fat make... jokes. Hey, hey, Ferg, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Every other day. I don't do I, No, I don't do that. Like, hey, Frank, that really hurt my feelings. Hey, Ferg, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. You do. That's not a funny thing to joke about. Everyone's special. But well, you should feel comfortable in your skin. And if you have a little bit more skin to feel comfortable in, ah! <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Even though we have our differences, there's still, it doesn't mean that, uh, that we're any less close. Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, we still get along, we still like doing the same stuff. Well, even though we might not see eye to eye when we're playing Seesaw. <laughs> uh, hey, that's a fun game. You know, at the end of the day, you're still my best friend. You know, I'm a skinny guy. I'm a fat guy. And we're best, best friends. friends. I think it's associated the word gap with like clothes, and I just don't like clothes shopping because it's not fun. It's not. It's not. Especially when you're a fat guy and nothing fits you, and you have to go to the husky section, which is basically fat man shame aisle. Dude, I have I have the fucking skinny guys. I gotta go shop in like the petite at the girl section. Oh, you go to the girl section? Yeah, sometimes. That explains the necklace. Fuck you. <laughs>